Welcome to Fear the Walking Dead After Show here on the Stream.TV. I'm your host, Sue Castillo. And I'm Michael Tiberi. And let me tell you, I don't know if that was an episode of Fear the Walking Dead or Celebrity Rehab with Johnny Depp, right? Mm, it was, yeah. It was pretty, it was pretty much the, young, the younger Johnny Depp, and I loved every minute of it. We're talking about Nick. Yeah, yeah. Nick. Yeah. We, uh, watching Nick kind of stumble through that church, I mean, it was very, you know, he had very reminiscent of a young Johnny Depp in, you know, I wouldn't say, I don't know, would you say a cross with any of his other films or? It was like the two <laughs> best Johnny Depps I'd ever seen, which is like the What's Eating Gilbert Grape Johnny Depp and like the Hunter S. Thompson Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas mashup. Now, if they throw in Edward Scissorhands, like in later episodes, I'll, I'll be so happy about that. But yeah, I mean, Nick, by far, is my favorite character in, in, in Fear the Walking Dead. Absolutely. This kid, I mean, to me, this kid rocks. And he kind of like, you know, he kind of knows now that he's like, oh, I need to stop doing drugs. <laughs> A, because I saw, you know, somebody getting eaten by, you know, another human being. Yeah. And uh, B, because something is obviously going on. You know, he knows now. And when he was, uh, you know, he was in that hospital, he kind of kicked into like this weird survival mode that we hadn't yet, you know, I think that Nick had inside of him, but we hadn't yet seen it, so. Yeah, like he, he knew, you know, even when he woke up in the church yeah. and when he woke up in the hospital and they brought that old man on the gurney, it was almost like he knew that old man's gonna die and eat somebody's face potentially. And right. so I, I think Nick is definitely going to be the strong, Nick's the Daryl. Yeah. Of this show. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I agree. And he, and that moment where, you know, he, he, the man next to him, which by the way, we all knew that was a zombie from the beginning. Oh yeah. yeah. He was going to eat it. Oh yeah. That mm -hmm. guy was, yeah. That guy was from the beginning. We were like, oh yeah, you got problems. And then, you know, he goes out of the room and Nick jumps and puts all his clothes on, clothes on and goes to the hospital. I'm like, applause to that because yeah. you know what I, I mean, like I won't even really sometimes borrow a sweatshirt from one of my friends. And this guy's <laughs> like, this guy was a zombie and there was something really wrong with him and I'm just gonna put on his clothes. Like applause to that because you know, <laughs> that's some, you know, that's some taking some high, you know, fortitude to kind of do something like that. that that's addict, those definitely addict tendencies. You, you're you gonna score no matter where you yeah. are. So Nick, Nick's gonna survive. And then, you know, going from Nick, we, we you know, we're jumping right into Tobias, yes. which is another favorite, I feel, because Tobias was the realest of the real characters I'd ever seen, especially when you want to go to Degrassi High School <laughs> and bring a knife and then tell the woman, you have no idea what you're talking about. Right. Stuff's going down. And she wouldn't listen. And why don't we believe these kids? Like, you know what I mean? Like, to the point of, like, something, like, this kid isn't bringing, like, a knife to school to, like, really, he said out loud, he's like, it's happening, believe me. And she's like, mm, no. And it's like so all these signs where it's like, then she sees the video of, you know, the zombie getting shot multiple times yeah. and still coming back to life. And she's like, I still don't believe you. It's like, what is it going to take for you to believe this kid? Right. Or when Madison is, is saying, um, the authorities would tell us if something's wrong. And that look Tobias gave was pretty much like, you straight tripping. You, you, mm -mm. <laughs> if you think the no. authorities are going to tell, like, what? In what world? In what world were the people in power like? Okay, everyone, this is actually what's going on. Yeah. Uh, that never, never happens. Never happens. Never happens. And then we're going to get right into what I would consider because we couldn't pick the last character uh, agreeance on, so we're just going to jump into the worst, worst character. So we're just going to go ahead and yeah. just worst character on three. One, One, two, two three. three. Madison. Madison. Oh. Yes. 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 That's a, oh, missed it here. Mm. There we go. Uh, I'm so happy that we agree on that. Like, she really is the mommy dearest of this episode. Absolutely. Like, there was no wire hangers, but I mean, she was she was lacking in the parental department. Absolutely. I mean, she is a guidance counselor, and to me, it was like uh, somebody needs to guide this woman to good parenting because she's to, not doing it. Yeah, you need to guide yourself, lady. Yeah. All right, because how you miss your son's addiction that that is absolutely crazy. Absolutely. Like she was, you know, her son is addicted. That she's going to the church to figure it out, and still, it's like she goes to the church and he, she finds his drugs there, and she's like, oh no, and throws them down. It's like, what about? also the blood and the guts that were still left over in the church and she's like mm, 
you know, I'm not going to tell the authorities about this. Yeah. I'm a guidance counselor. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, I'm sure Madison has redeeming qualities. We will see it in future episodes. But as of right now, Madison is the new Lori because it's very clear yes, she has no idea where Nick is, just like Lori never kept track of Coral. No. So, you know, I, I think it's going to get interesting from here on out. Madison will grow on us. We're not saying she's horrible. No, no, no. But at the moment, I think it's, you know, Fear the Walking Dead, also uh, Fear Madison as a parent could also, you know, kind of go along. Her parenting skills. Yeah, Fear the Parent. So, you know, thanks for joining us on Fear the Walking Dead After Show. Be sure to tweet us all week long at hashtag FearTWDAS. Um, and check out our weekly discussions. Um, and stay tuned for more episodes. Yeah, we'll keep it going. Yeah, keep it going. Hey, guys, for more of the Fear the Walking Dead After Show, make sure you hit that button. And subscribe to thestream.tv.